Welcome back to another Film Geek video, and more importantly, welcome back to another Loved Again Media unboxing. Now, what is Loved Again Media, if this is the first time you're checking out one of these videos I've been doing? Okay, so Loved Again Media is a service that's on Amazon, and it allows you to get random physical media sent to your home. And there's different tiers and different types of systems and so on you can get. The one that I subscribe to is 10 Blu-rays, completely random. Now, I was able to go in and choose what genres of film I wanted to get, so I went with horror, action, comedy, and animation, even though I know animation is not a genre, blah, blah, blah. Those were the ones I chose. And honestly, guys, so far, so good with the service. At the beginning of it, I was getting some repeats. We had a fun running gag with the movie Hancock, but since then, it seems like it's been pretty smooth sailing, and I've been getting a lot of really good Blu-rays. And I did say that there's different tiers. So, for instance... You might want to get just DVDs, there's DVDs you can get, there's Blu-rays, there's Blu-rays and DVDs, but the thing that's a lot of fun about this is it's always completely random. You never know what you're going to get in your box, so it's always kind of like a really fun, I guess you would say birthday Christmas gift once a month. And what? who doesn't love getting gifts of, you know, joy in the mail, right? Just so that it brings you a little dopamine, what's wrong with that? So anyways guys, let's get this started, shall we? We got the explanation of what this all is, so let's get this ball rolling because I really want to find out what I got in here okay and also before I get this started the reason I'm doing this too is so I can kind of see if this service is good for people who maybe don't have the ability to get out of their house and do a lot of hunting around and buying blu-rays and dvds so they can you know achieve these massively large collections like the one I have because believe me I have been collecting for a long time so there's a real reason why I have so many at this point but also I still hit the you know, pawn shops, the thrift stores, antique malls. And, you know, if you don't have that stuff in your area to help you pad the numbers so you can get one of these Netflix-like freaking collections, then this service so far, as I've been doing this for the you know for this year, has so far been pretty good at serving some stuff up that I like. So uh, let's check this out, all right? So enough of me yammering on. Let's open up this baby. Now, as I always like to say, safety first here at the Film Geek, so we always cut away from ourselves. And, oh, again, also, I'd like to give a quick shout-out to a new friend of mine of the channel. Uh, I, I met him in one of my uh, t collecting groups on Facebook for DVDs and whatnot. And anyways, Daniel said that these uh, videos have been very helpful, and he's really enjoyed them, so just a quick shout-out to my friend Daniel, okay? So let's get this going here. All right. Okay, okay, so uh, again... Uh, looks like they're putting them on top, so I don't want to look inside and ruin the surprise for this. So let's just put this off to the side, shall we, like all this, so I can't see what's going on in there, because that's what makes it more fun. Alright, so here we go. The well, first movie. The first movie is... The Dark Tower. I have not seen this movie, and I've heard that it's... It's decent, I guess. It's okay. But uh, it does fall within what I ordered. I ordered horror, and I know that this is an adaptation of Stephen King. And, I, you know, I know it's mixed reviews is what I've heard about this one. And I'm curious about it because I do really like these books and all. And I do, I have heard that the, you know, the actors and all did a really great job with that movie. So let's see what we have next, shall we? And we've got... 22 Jump Street. Awesome! You know why this is awesome? Because I have 21 Jump Street on freaking Blu-ray, but I do not have 22 Jump Street on blog on uh, blah, 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 on Blu-ray. Boy, I'm rushing myself. I need to slow down. Whew, take a deep breath here. Okay, so anyways, if you're not familiar, of course, these are the comedy adaptation of the TV show that started Johnny Depp's career back in the 80s, 21 Jump Street. And this is the sequel to it right here. Jonah Hill, Channing Tatum. I freaking love the first movie. And I have seen this film. I don't remember liking it as much as the first movie, but I do remember having a really good time with it. I've just never gotten around to uh, watching it. And if you're wondering, yes, I am still getting over that cold, so my voice is still just completely shot, so just bear with me on this. Here we go. Diving in for some more. We have Pain and Gain. Okay, this is a pretty good freaking movie, honestly. I do really enjoy this movie. 
And I am not really a Michael Bay guy, but sometimes he puts out action films that I absolutely love. This tells the story of uh, two bodybuilders played by Mark Wahlberg and The Rock. I refuse to call him Dwayne Johnson. You are The Rock, my friend. But anyways, uh, <laughs> these two bodybuilders, they decide to pull off a heist, and this film is filled with some great action, funny moments, and I mean, str you know, strangely enough, pretty likable guys, but... I do really enjoy that movie. I have this on DVD, so this is a nice little upgrade for the old DVD, right? Okay, so what do we got next? Okay, this feels like an interesting case. Okay, because it's from Blockbuster, The Other Guys. All right, we're getting a Mark Wahlberg thing going here, huh? Got two Mark Wahlberg movies. Okay, so The Other Guys, Will Ferrell, Mark Wahlberg, of course. This is the, the buddy cop comedy spoof right and i mean i think a lot of people know this movie right like fly away <laughs> what, what does he keep saying fly like a peacock or something like that <laughs> all right and you know what honestly i am really excited to get this in the old blockbuster case right because i mean that's just part of collecting history i'm one of those people that when i get these old boxes i like to keep it in them i don't i trade them out and try to find something that looks better for my collection or something i really love getting a hold of these old video store boxes i've got some from hollywood video i've got some from mom pa movie shops from the our video stores from the area and such you know so i really do actually like getting a hold of the blockbuster and uh, i do have this one on dvd but i do not have the blu-ray so that is pretty freaking sweet okay let's see what else we got there's one hanging off on the side here so i'm gonna get rid of that one real quick the help oh geez what a great movie all right well shoo this one of course tells the story of the help um I don't know. I mean, you all know what this movie is. It's an Academy Award winning film. Lots of great performances. Octavia Spencer, you know. Oh, man. Excellent film. And another one I do have on DVD, but not on Blu-ray. So I am very excited to be able to upgrade that one because it does have the DVD and the Blu-ray in there. I forgot to add that because sometimes with this, you do get those. It's not just the Blu-ray. You end up getting the DVD also, which is kind of cool. So you're getting like two in one, which, you know, who doesn't like that? Okay, this feels like it might be a sealed in box or bag or whatever. Ben? Her? Oh, wow. Wow, Ben Hur, the special 40th edition or 40th anniversary? Or excuse me, 50th anniversary. Oh my gosh. Of course, everyone knows Ben Hur, right? And this is also sealed, completely unopened Blu ray with all of the cool special features. I wonder if I could still get the $4 off of something at Walmart here, you know? I wonder if that's still available. I don't know. But that is so cool. What a good one, man. What a, what a great find that is. That is amazing. Just that chariot scene alone is just some of the most amazing Hollywood. I've. Oh, God. Such a great film. Okay, moving on. Here we go. What do we got? Oh, we got a slipcover, people. We love our slipcovers, don't we? Oh, it's the Dark Knight. Oh, the Dark Knight. The, this is really the only one of these in that trilogy that I really, really like. The other ones are okay at best, but man, The Dark Knight is awesome. And this one says it's got the digital copy, but that's to be seen, right? And look at that. Look, who's that? Who's that right there? That's old Heath Ledger as the Joker, everybody. We all know and love Heath. He is the Joker, right? Oh, this is sick. Look at that. It's got like all of those. It's the old school one, too. So it's got like the digital copy on disc. Like, how's that work, right? So anyways, yes, we got the special features Blu-ray here. We got the regular Blu-ray. This is in absolutely excellent condition. I love it. This is cool. Oh, wow. I think this was a... This looks okay. Oh, you know what? It's even funnier. It was from Savers. So <laughs> I don't know if you all have Savers in your area. There are a. This is not going back in the slip cover, so we're not going to worry about it. I don't really care about slip covers. I just know that some people really do. So I would have a good time with the the slip covers. But anywho, uh, that's great. That's great. But Savers, yes, it's a thrift store chain. Um, I don't know, somewhere around. I think they work with the Boys and Girls Clubs, or maybe they have different organizations they work with throughout the country. But enough about Savers. Let's get back to this. Okay, here we go. What do we got? What do we think we have? We got horror. We get a horror movie? We think we're going to get a horror movie? Let's see what we got. We got Spider-Man 3, which... 
I'm not upset about that because I do like Spider-Man 3. It's just that it's a repeat. I did get Spider-Man 3 recently in a box. I think it was a couple months back or something like that because I talked about how I am a, uh, a defender of this film. I really do enjoy it. However... However, this one looks to be more of the collectible special edition or something. Uh, yeah, so, you know, maybe it's the upgraded version of the movie, but uh, I did get this one already in a box previously, but not a bad movie to get. Just saying. Just saying it's still pretty solid. I'm not upset with that one. I like that movie. I don't care. I mean, everybody complains about the dancing Peter Parker scene, but have you seen Sam Raimi's movies? That is his freaking humor, goofballs. Um, anyway, I'm moving on. Here we go. Oh, okay. Pray for the devil. I don't... I know I've seen this movie. Damn it. Damn it. I know I've seen this movie. I've reviewed this movie. I can't remember anything about this movie. <laughs> oh, my God. Is this the one where... Uh, yeah, I think that it's like where they create the uh, Catholic Avengers, as I called them in my review. Okay, so as I, this is, this is great because I have done a out of theater review of this film. And I think I, I think I recall calling it, uh, forgettable. <laughs> so to prove myself right. I forgot about it. All right, but anyways, you know, it's always good to get a hold of horror anyways. You know, it's always, it's a, it's a genre that you don't get a lot. Here we go. What else do we get? All right, I don't know this movie. All right. And this is also, it looks like another rental. It's Obsessed. Abra Soundroom, Beyonce knows. Okay, all right. How far would you go to protect what's yours? I don't know what this. I don't know anything about this movie. So yeah, cool. Checking that out. I'll have to watch that here soon. You know, check out and see what that's all about. All right, what we got here? We got Blu-ray. Resident Evil Afterlife. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Much like the Evolution series, I have a very soft spot in my heart for the Resident Evil films, and I do really like the Resident Evil Evil movies. They're all goofy and fun in their own right, and I already have this movie. I do have the box set, but that's because I'm a goofy fan. If you do not have the box set, of course, this would be a really fun find. If you're into just campy, fun, horror action, you got yourself Resident Evil. So here we go. Here we go. What's up next? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We have Eagle Eye. Okay, this is a good movie. This is pretty cool. It's a nice little suspense thriller. Shia LaBeouf. I do recall enjoying this film. I remember watching it. I just don't remember much about it because I think it was a while back when I saw this movie. Or maybe I just remember seeing the trailer. There are times where, because when you get to a point where you've seen so many freaking movies, you sometimes think you've seen a movie, but in reality, you've just seen the trailer. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I have seen this film. I just don't remember much about it. All right, so here we go. Moving on. All right, ooh. Oh, yeah, boy. It's an unopened. You're going to love this. All right, I'm going to move stuff out of the way. So it's an unopened, completely sealed twofer. So two movies in one, and we've got Rambo First Blood Part 2 and Rambo 3. Completely different films from the original movie first blood this is a franchise that just went completely off of the rails from the original film the movie was about you know trauma of war and ptsd and the way that united states handled its veterans coming back home from war and then it turned into just you know rambo just fucking rambo going around killing folk it's like completely lost all of it. it's like yeah that, that deep meaning that we have to get yeah, Slucky good time come to me. That's exactly how I feel about the Rambo series. And this is awesome because I do have these on DVD. I do not have these on Blu-ray. And I like these two first sets because with someone who has limited space, it's always nice when more than one gets put into one of these box sets. And uh, you know what? Should I open it? Yeah, let's just open it up. Why not? Let's open it up. Because I want to see if they put both of these movies on one disc. 
we'll just put that down. I just want to see if they put these movies on one disc or if this is two separate discs. I, I like it more when it's two separate discs because you get this, you know, normally you get like special features and such like that on the movies at least. So let's see what we have here. Oh, dang, here we go. Stickers. <laughs> This is, uh, this is some exciting YouTube going on right here, folks, isn't it? I am just killing it right now in the viewership. They're like, have you, have you seen that video of the middle-aged guy struggling to get the freaking DVD to open up? Yeah, you have? It's freaking awesome, isn't it? That is content 101 right there. I don't know if it's because this has been sitting around for so long sealed that it's just like this tape is so old it's not it's not wanting to come off all right let's see if that's just enough to get it open enough here okay there we go oh oh no <laughs> after all that okay there's two discs but they've come off over the years so yeah here they are <laughs> Oh no, they got shook up. That's always terrible. But yep, there we go. Two separate discs. Two separate discs, but like I said, they had popped off of there. So, okay, it looks like we have some mild, some mild scratching maybe from shaking around in there for so long. Who knows how long. But I believe that is 100% playable. Probably easily just buffed out. And you know I'm going to go back and peel this tape off. Because if you watch my videos, you know how much that just pisses me right off. Alright, well guys, I don't know. I think that's a pretty big successful uh, haul this time around. A lot of interesting stuff. That Rambo thing can't be beat. I mean, that's... That's pretty sick right there, honestly. I mean, even though it came with a mild inconveniences, uh, it's pretty cool. I like that. So let's do the count. Okay, so like I've said, I pay for 10, but as of lately, I've been getting a couple extra when they send it to me. So I am going to count this as two because it is two movies. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. Boy, they're just having fun, aren't they? They're just like, this guy keeps buying, so keep throwing them at him. Well, there you go, guys. Again, I have to say that this service is still well worth the price. I pay around, uh, after taxes and all, rounding up, like $27 a month. And so for $27 a month, I'm getting this many Blu-rays sent to my home. And uh, yeah, you know, yes, is it random? You don't know what you're getting? Well, I think that kind of gives it a lot more fun, right? It kind of adds to the excitement a little bit. When I already know what's coming in to me, it's, you know, it's just like, okay, here we go again. Uh, I already knew this was coming but here it is and this and this and this it's not as much fun right and i probably wouldn't have continued doing the boxing videos because what's the point if it's all gonna be stuff i know what's coming to me well all right guys that's it that's the end of the video thanks again for checking out another film geek video if you liked what you saw here today go ahead and subscribe to the channel ring that bell for notifications and give me the old thumbs up so i know you like what you're seeing and if there's one more thing you can do folks that is keep watching movies you know i'm gonna